Welcome to week 15 of Follow for 33, and now here's our passage for this week. John 14, 27. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives do I give to you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Now, how does the world give peace? You know, I think it's fair to say that it's very often a temporary, an illusion, or just a downright lie. And sometimes it's all three. But how does Christ give peace? Take this, for example, even as he's promising us peace, what's going on in his life? Well, he was in the process of telling his disciples some very hard truths. His crucifixion was just around the corner. Soon, they'd have to navigate this life themselves without his physical presence. And uh, he also promised God would come to them in the form of yet another person, the Holy Spirit. Now, he would empower them in ways that really they didn't even understand yet. And in ways the world can never match. Here's how God gives peace. First, God gives peace by always telling the truth, even when the truth is hard. Second, God gives peace without false illusion. He can because he's greater than the hardest truth. And third, God's peace is not temporary. Even in painful times, God is sculpting us with eternity in mind. There is peace, not because things are okay for now, but because God is in the process of fixing things even now for eternity. Mm. So, be, be encouraged. encouraged.